Hey guys, bear with me here. You see, uh, most of the accessories I got home from the lathe, <clears throat> excuse me, I tried to find a, a model number on the lathe, and I couldn't find one. So it's an older Craftsman, as I mentioned, and uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, apparently, the deceased uh, previous owner uh, was a machinist at New Venture Gear, a uh, pretty big company here in Syracuse. Uh, they used to be huge. Did all the Chrysler stuff. Um, and I'll go through real quick. It's just a ton of stuff. I don't know. I, I'm in over my head here. I'm drowning. It's so much stuff I can't even begin to process where to begin. So I'll just do a little drive-by here. There's a ton of uh, drill bits. There's a ton of material um not quite sure what a lot of this stuff does yet but i will know uh there's some stock aluminum and random piece it's a ton of stuff but you know it's a good start on a new lathe you can see there's a four jaw chuck a three jaw chuck Another four jaw chuck, um, some sort of wheel type chuck there. The pile of uh, uh, pile of hand tools that came with it, but some of them are pretty cool. This looks like an old uh, excuse me, it almost looks like an old Yankee ratcheting screwdriver, and I'll definitely uh, learn more about that. But there's one I wanted to show you here. Is it this one? Yeah, this one here, it says, uh, uh, let's see if we can get it to focus for us. It says on the shaft there, to sample US STD. So I'm not quite sure what that is, but there's some cool stuff, you know, there's some kind of cool pliers and all kinds of little wrenches and uh, you know, we got some some nice uh, chisels. Another one of these little alligator wrenches. Is a this must be some real old uh, snap ring pliers. Not quite sure what this thing is. Some weird stuff in the in the in the bunch in the mix there, but ideal brush. Yeah, it's a ton of stuff. There's some little files, miscellaneous pieces. I love it. I'll definitely go through them all. If you can see this bad boy, it says uh, Sutton and dash 105. Got some more stock. I think these uh, little discs are uh, gauges. A uh, bunch of little especially wrenches and whatnot. That's a sterret uh, clamp there. Yeah, more stock. There's a million different drill bits. There's uh, caps, more drill bits. There's a bunch of uh, compounds. Ugh, let me stand up. Eh, I, don't, I, like I said I'm drowning over here as a... Oh yeah. Yeah, more materials. We got got a bunch of uh, you know bits and whatnot. Got some V blocks in the mix. We got a drill bit. This bit's about the size of my arm. It's got to be a uh, yeah one and a quarter. You know we got some big drill bits, some reamers. Ugh, got a big micrometer, brown and sharp. Uh, you know, it's just a ton of stuff. It's unbelievable. These are all like old school pieces, and you know, it's not something you could just go out and get. I mean, if I were to go out and get all this stuff new, it would cost me an arm and a leg. So I think, you know, for the price, I, I got a good price on the lead itself, and uh. To get all this stuff with it is just a blood. The guy is 
This guy was just super cool. These are the J.H. Williams. Uh, that's an Armstrong. Another Armstrong. Armstrong. These are tool holders. Bunch of Armstrongs and what's this one? Uh, Atlas. It's an Atlas Press Company. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Caramba. Yeah, so I gotta learn some learning to do here, and but uh, the guy that owned the lathe, you know, obviously, like I said, he did it for a living, and he knew what he was doing. He had some good stuff here, so I just gotta, you know, learn about it all, and I'll probably get rid of some of this stuff, but. I mean, it's just a, an arsenal. There's tons of stuff. I got I to gotta go through and sort it all still, but, you know, it's hard to even wrap my head around what's going on here. It's just unbelievable. Uh, uh, stuff needs a little bit of attention. I'm not afraid to uh, get on the wire wheel and clean it all up. And that's what I'll do. But uh, besides all this on the floor, there's more. And I'll show you that right now. Pardon the lighting in here. It might be a little dark. I picked up this little pancake air compressor today for 20 bucks. It's like brand new and he gave me the hose that came with it and whatnot. Apparently you plug this in the wall and you, you go to town. I thought that you had to go to the gas station and fill it up with air or whatnot, but I guess you just plug it in and go. I just wanted a little tank to... Uh, you know, use the air gun to blow off my, my work area there, but um, let's see if I, hopefully the lighting isn't too horrible. Uh, this stuff came with it as well. Uh, let me see if I can get a flash going on this thing. One second. Uh, I don't want to mess up the video. In any event, uh, we got these, uh, I think these are uh, knurling tools. Yep, this is a Williams knurling tool holder. And Armstrong, looks like a similar piece. I'm not quite sure what some of the stuff is. It's all kind of new to me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different chucks. There's a, this is a Jacobs number 100. It's a three quarter capacity. A quarter inch um, bunch of Jacobs tapers there's a, looks like there's a couple of three quarter inch but there's seven chucks that came with it standard chucks that is and the top shelf we got uh, this is a craftsman sheeting vise and I've never seen one like this but you can see the handle so that's pretty cool a clamp right down like that uh, Another V block or uh, indicator holder here, and I want to say this is uh, brown and sharp. Yep, may not focus, but it's definitely brown and sharp. Ugh. Damn camera, that's good size. I got this piece here, not quite sure. Looks like a fishing reel, if you ask me, but what do we got here? This is uh, Enco. Urco? Enco? Well, just wanted to focus. In any event, it's got a whole bunch of holes. Obviously, that would go into stock of some sort but it has a purpose i'll figure it out this is a little mini machinist vice and uh pom pomgren something like that uh, who knows i'm overwhelmed right now to be honest with you got a couple of uh i think these are brown and sharp v-blocks you know they're 
funky looking. There's a million of them. Got this little metal shard stuck to it. This here is a magnetic, uh, what's it say, Mighty Might? Mighty Might. And uh, Fullerton. This little holder magnetic base. Pretty cool. Another indicator holder. It's either a Sterret or a Brown and Sharp. Oh, what do we got? This is a Sterret piece. There's a... It's missing the uh, plastic cover. But I have, uh, there's a couple other ones with the covers in the house right now that came with it. Um, this this V-Block right here might be homemade, I'm not sure. This is pretty cool. It's a, a Blue Point Supreme Screw Extractor Set, number 1020. Uh, a couple of little rulers. This thing is a, it's a standard standard gauges, and it's definitely seen some use. It's uh, it's it's working. It's just beat. I'll see if I can clean that up. But it's got a ton of pieces that came with it in that box. I like it because it's old. We got. Man, the box is pretty cool. I like that uh, box action there, but that's uh, this here is. I can't even read that to be honest with you. It's obviously an indicator gauge, but uh, let's see if I can shoot that out of there. Karimar, something like that. It's got a cool, you know, the stuff from back in the day, it just came in nice packaging. You know, they actually cared. Like, I love finding old tools that have their original box and it's wooden. Just something about it. And then we got, this is a Lufkin piece in it. It's small. A little tiny indicator and how about that let me get the focus so you can see that look at that pretty cool huh but yeah like I said there's a couple more uh, indicators in the house but this is just uh, the mother load of you know so uh, as it stands Sunday at 3 me and my buddy are going to the guy's house to pick up the actual lathe. And it's got a big eight-foot uh, wooden cabinet uh, as a stand that comes with it. And it's huge. But uh, the cabinet has drawers. And a lot of these parts and whatnot were kept in the drawers. I pretty much took all the drawers out and all the parts and brought them home. So I'll have the uh, eight foot cabinet with a lathe on top. Things perfect out, you know, I'm gonna go through it with a fine tooth comb and clean it up and whatnot. And uh, sort through this stuff and figure out what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna get rid of. But what a, what a haul, huh? I'm not gonna say the price. You know, I didn't get it for free, but I did get a good price. And all this stuff here, I'm gonna bring it back to life. Take care of all the rust and whatnot. And I'll have a nice little uh, setup on materials and, and tooling for the lathe. And I also have uh, got a, a box in the house with about 600 different high speed bits and uh, reamers and whatnot. I've been kind of holding on to them. 
that I picked up a while back and uh, put them to use finally. But hopefully I can go through in more detail when I get some of this organized better. But uh, it's just a ton of stuff. I don't know where to begin. I probably just start by putting the drill bits in different categories. There's a ton of them. But I appreciate you guys as always. Hope you have a good night. Questions or comments, feel free to ask, and I'll get back to you as soon as I see it. They don't always, uh, my phone doesn't always go off when I get a notification. I don't know why, but I'll check periodically. So Take care. Have a good night.